you know, the Bible says that we're going to enter into birth pains, birth pangs, you know. Do you think we're there? Do you think well, we're soon or what? what? What do you think? When a woman gets to where she's ready to give birth, her pains are more frequent and they're more intense. Yes. But now when Jesus was here, I've said this so many times, when Jesus was here, I'm not sure he talked as a prophet. Now he was a prophet, but I'm not so sure he wasn't speaking as a master engineer because he made the earth. Yes, he did. Or a volcanologist, or a seismologist, hmm. or a meteorologist. He made all things, and all things were made for him and by him. Yeah. So when they ask him the question, what will be the signs of the end of the age, we would have never known anything about earthquakes being a sign of his coming had Jesus himself not told us that. That's right. That's right. And if you look in, if you look in so Revelation, right. it says that there will be an earthquake so great such as men has not been, since men has been upon the earth. If you look over in Isaiah, it says there will be such an earthquake that the earth will reel to and fro like a drunkard. And it said that the islands of the sea will pass away and the cities of the nation will fall. And it said the earth will be utterly broken down. Now, what's happening right now is there's earthquakes on a level that ma many people can absorb and understand. Mm -hmm. Like if an earthquake comes to Mexico City, it shakes that region. Mm -hmm. yes. If it comes to Los Angeles, it shakes that region. Yes. Mm -hmm. But actually, what the Bible's talking about in Revelation and what the Bible's talking about in Isaiah is an actual earthquake. Oh, oh. The whole that earth, the whole shaking. earth will quake. <laughs> they said that there will be an earthquake such as met since man has not been upon there. It said the cities of the nations, plural, will fall. The islands of the seas <coughs> will fall because of tidal waves. And it said the earth is utterly broken down. So when the Bible speaks about can, earth. Can, are you listening at all? Yeah. And this is what the Bible says, but you don't hear this on Sunday morning. So when the Bible talks about earthquakes, you know, in Matthew, Jesus said, Matthew quoted Jesus as saying there'll be earthquakes in diverse places. Yes. Yes. But Luke quoted him as saying there'll be great earthquakes in diverse places. Now, a great earthquake is anything yeah. 6.0 or and above. But the time is coming when there's going to be earthquakes that will literally affect the earth. Now, when they had that one down in Chile a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes that tilted the earth a little bit more on its axis and it's affected the weather patterns. When we had the one in Sumatra, Indonesia, mm -hmm. that tilted the earth just a little bit on its axis. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're growing in intensity and rapidity, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave just affecting a region like a city or a state. And after a while, it will affect the whole world. Because the, if you read it, it says the nations of the earth fall and the earth is utterly broken down. So you, these fault lines that run through and the ring of fire with the volcanoes and all, all that's going to be affected at one time during the tribulation period. So is the world, here's my question, is the world ready for that kind of cataclysmic activity? Are they ready for that kind of catastrophes? Because it's not going to just affect, listen, they won't have enough dogs to go sniffing in debris to find survivors. That's right. They won't have enough rescue teams in the world to go to all the places where it's going to be affected. It will be widespread. Yes, that's right. Wow. So when Jesus said there'll be these things. He I, said I, every island will move out of its that's place. That's what he said. That's what he said. And, and, and when you look Would at you like it, me when read you it study you? that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me because read it. when you study that in the Greek, in the Hebrews, uh, depending on if you're reading the Old or New Testament, but every... It is so shocking that every uh, island, but it doesn't just mean uh, like Hawaii Islands. Mm -hmm. No. When you see it, it means basically all of the uh, continents mm -hmm. because it's all the raising up of the earth. It isn't, ju yeah. it isn't just an island. Right. It is all earth <clears throat> will move, all the earth will move out of its place. Go ahead. It said this in Revelation 16, verse 17 and 18, it's, or 17 through 20, it said, The seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. There were voices, thunders, lightnings. There was a great earthquake, such as was not sent men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. The great city was divided into three parts. The cities of the nations fell, 
Great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give her her cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Every island fled away and the mountains were not found. Isaiah says this in 24, 18 through 20. It shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. He that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in a snare. For the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. Now, what did Jesus say, Jim? He said in the last days as it was in the days of Noah. Yes. What did the Bible say about the days of Noah? It said the fountains of the great deep were broken up. Listen to what this says again. It says, for the windows from on high are open, and the fountains of the earth do shake, the uh, foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth will reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Mm -hmm. So that earthquake, it says right here, it's going to be utterly broken down. The earth will be clean dissolved. The earth will move exceedingly. The earth, not just a locality. Mm -hmm. So that's where things are going. Mm -hmm. 